When you close your eyes, you're establishing your world inside. When the Buddha says to put aside greed and distress with reference to the world, the first world you've got to put those things aside for is the world outside. Anything that would pull you out, you say, nope, 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 it's not worth it. You have to establish your frame of reference right here. This is why the Ajans like to say, pretend like you're the only person in the world right now. To cut off your concerns with people outside. Because the mind does need time to be by itself. The world is bombarding us now with all kinds of information and misinformation and questions and uncertainties. We start thinking about the things that will not be there when the plague is over, the things that will be there. The changes are going to happen in the world. We have no idea what they're going to be. So all the more reason to take care of your mind right now, because you sit here spinning your wheels with all that misinformation, or where there's no information at all and the mind fills in all kinds of details, none of which are all that helpful. Someone made a criticism one time with the book Mind Life Fire Unbound, saying, how could they have had a theory about fire back in those days? They didn't have scientists. It doesn't take a scientist to wonder about why fire happens and how it happens. You think about those Vedic priests sitting and staring at fire for hours and hours for centuries. They're bound to have some ideas. Now, whether they're accurate or not, they're filled their head with ideas. And that's what we do. When there's no information, we've filled the world in with all kinds of ideas. So the best way to make sure you're not filling in all those details is to Take that space that the mind gives to the world and just annihilate it for the time being. There's nothing there that should be of any interest. That's the attitude you should have. And then you can give your full attention to what the mind is doing with the breath right now. Because it's in observing the mind in action like this that you can begin to see how it takes neutral data, even good data, and turns it into suffering to say nothing of the painful things that are coming in. You're trying to see the mind in action, the processes that it goes through. That's going to require your full attention. So the world outside, just put it aside. There will be times when you do have to be responsible for issues outside, but right now is not one of them. Right now is time for the mind in and of itself focused on the breath in and of itself. It's when you boil things down like this that you see things clearly, and you can do something about them. <laughs>